what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello and welcome back to another episode of How to Design with Adobe XD. My name is Michael Wong and in this video I'm going to walk you through to how to set and save a color palette to your project. So as you can see here, I have pulled through the colors from the welcome screen that we designed in the previous video. And what we want to do is simply click on the rectangles or the colors, head over to your appearance tab on the right, go down to fill, hit fill and you will see a, a plus icon in the bottom left corner and it's to save your color swatch to this palette. So by clicking it, it will see it appear. Now we can head over here, we can add all the other colors that we've used. We can add the green, add the grays as well. So not only does this give you quick access to the colors that you've used, it will also keep your designs much more consistent because there are many times as designers we will introduce new color, color codes just because we've forgotten that we've used a, like a darker or lighter shade of gray before. So now that we've got our palettes in the swatch, if we want to remove a color, we can simply click and drag it out and it's removed. Or, oops, and let's add that light gray back in. And if you want to reorder the colors, you can simply click and drag them across to wherever uh, position you want them to be. Now, if you want to start using your, pal your palette, we can quickly just draw a square on this and head over to your fill. And by clicking on the colors, it will quickly toggle to the color that you desire. So as you can see, Adobe XD has made uh, saving and setting a color palette very, very simple. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, or subscribe. I will see you in another video very, very soon.